This is the magic of Make Home, bringing you the mysteries, mayhem, and the mobiles around the clock. I'm Elizabeth, and this is my co-host, Tiana. Let's get started. I ain't got no home in this world anymore. Today, outside the dawn is breaking, and we already have another update. The economic disaster is only worsening outside, as we are deep in debt, and our stock markets continue to crash. Leaves everyone wondering, will it end? Our banks are failing, and we're becoming unemployed. And now some words from our sponsor. Our sponsor today is John Steinbeck, with his novel Of Mice and Men. It tells the story of George Milton and Lenny Small. Two displaced migrant ranch workers who moved from place to place in California in search of new job opportunities during the Great Depression in the United States. Thank you, John, for sponsoring us. And on with the podcast. Out in the world, we are trying to maintain our lives with failure. Some people are with no jobs, and they're doing their best to work for some money. The Great Depression isn't only depressing for our banks and jobs. It's causing deep sadness to many others. It's ruined lives and families of futures. Here today, we brought us a very special young girl from Maycomb, Alabama. How are you doing today, Jean Louise Finch? Scout's the name, and I'm doing fine. Okay, Scout. We brought you out here to talk about this cruel financial time and how your father had kissed Jean Louise. My dad's a very strong man. He's a good father to me and my brother Jim. He's not a very strict parent, and he doesn't really make the financial troubles public. He has a lot of opinions on the Depression, though. We understand that money's tight, but we also understand that we must be grateful because there are boys like Walter Cunningham who have even less than us. My father taught me that. I learned a great deal from him. He says that in order to be grown up, I must be understanding of everything. Walk a mile in other people's shoes before I give my opinion or thoughts on them or their situation. This made me the scout I am today, and I couldn't be more content. Anything else you want to add to your dad's character? Nothing other than he is the best dad in the world, and I'm beyond grateful for him. That's it for you, ladies and gentlemen. An inside scoop of how Atkins Finch is dealing. That is all the time we have. Join us next time, me and my co-host. Farewell. Farewell.